to delete the data from phpMyAdmin database through a simple HTML form what I am going to do in this tutorial is I have given one text box enter ID whatever ID you provide in this database the corresponding data related to that ID will be deleted from the database for this reason I have created a database name test inside the database I have created a table name project inside the project table I have created a three columns that is ID first name and last name as you can see and it contains several three 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 rows yeah what I'm gonna do is whenever the user enters suppose the data over here is 2 suppose the user enters is ID equals 2 so the corresponding data that is the Johnny Walker will be deleted from the database so for this I have created a simple HTML form which contains one text box and button so for creating this simple text box and button let's have a look this is a simple HTML code for creating a text box for this I have created a HTML tag and I have closed it over here then another body tag and I have closed that body tag over here which is normal what we, we, use, we used to do in HTML this is as simple as that but uh, now for the text box I have written this code whenever you want to create a text box in HTML you need to write this code input type equals text and name equals ID I have provided the value as ID for the name attribute so be specific about this now to create the button on the HTML form I have written this code this line of code input type equals submit name equals delete I have provided the value for the name attribute as delete so hope you understood the HTML code this is simple now let's have a look on the main part of the PHP how we write a PHP script so whenever user clicks on the button that is the delete I have written if is set delete the following set of conditions will be executed for this I have first created a variable named dollar host name which contains the value as localhost as I am going to execute this sort of code on my local standalone machine so that's why reason I have mentioned as localhost then I have created the another variable dollar username I have specified it as root then for the another variable dollar password I have, for the password I have uh, provided as empty because there is no password for my PHP my admin and for the database name I have created I have specified the value as test because the name of my database is test and inside the mysql underscore connect function I have provided the variables which I have created that is the host name, username, password and database name serially I have passed it these variables as the parameters to these functions and what I am going to do is I have created the another variable dollar id and whatever id the user enters over here see over here it will be collected over here in this dollar id variable so that's the reason I have specified this line of code dollar underscore post id the next line of code is the query delete from project here the project is the name of the table as you can see over here this is the name of my table that's the reason delete from project where id equals to id is the name of the column in the table where id equals to dollar id this dollar id is the specified id which is specified by the user over here and I have created another variable dollar result and equals mysqli underscore query I have passed two parameters to this function the first parameter is a connection variable and the another parameter is a query variable which contains the result of the query if the query is being executed therefore do if dollar result it will echo data is being deleted or else it will display data is not deleted and finally you need to close the connection which you have made to the database that's all I hope you understand if you have any kind of queries please mention it in the comment section so now 
save this document in the form with the extension .php I have saved, this, saved it as tutor.php now let's have a look how it functions just refresh it yeah now suppose I want to delete the row for Johnny Walker so I will specify the corresponding ID for Johnny Walker the corresponding ID for Johnny Walker is 2 so I will specify over here as suppose 2 and just click submit yeah it's showing data is being deleted let's have a look whether it's being really deleted or not yeah it's deleted see as you can see the Johnny Walker row is being deleted now suppose I want to delete the row for Alfred Noble so I will specify 4 which is the corresponding ID for Alfred Noble just click on submit the data is being deleted let's have a look yeah the Alfred Noble row is also deleted so hope you understand how to delete the database sorry how to delete the data from the database that's the table from PHP MyAdmin through a simple HTML form so thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel yeah thank you that's all